Well, lads, what's the crack? And welcome back to yet another Manchester United match preview. And back to back Manchester United previews because after that 1 0 defeat against Athletic Madrid, where we didn't really do too much in that match, we travelled back to Manchester for our final friendly at home to Rayo Vallecano. Now, of course, there's a few big players who didn't appear in that game against Athletic Madrid. Of course, a few of the players, uh, big players who did appear the entire match I don't think we'll play in this one so again it's going to be a rotated and mixed side here definitely but before we do jump into it make sure you are subscribed to the channel noticing a lot more new viewers and um, but not all of them are subscribing so make sure you are subscribed if you are a new viewer make sure you like the video as well it really does help to support the channel and make sure you click the bell as well so you're notified when I do upload so enjoy today's Manchester United match preview starting off and that's here once again I've gone with David De Gea I mean, he shouldn't be too tired from that Atletico match. He was actually pretty good in the match too, I thought. He didn't have to do too much saving or anything, but his passing was okay, as so I thought that. So, I do think David De Gea, once again, should be returning in Nets for United. At left-back, Tyrell Malassia, excellent uh, against Atletico Madrid, but he, he played the entire match. So, I've gone with Luke Shaw then at left-back. Luke Shaw really hasn't proved much for me, and well, this is his known. He needs to prove something. Uh, to Ten Hag if he wants to start over Malassia because at the moment Malassia is clearly going to start in that United team so I've gone with Luke Shaw then at left back at right back I've gone with Aaron Mambasaka I didn't see much of Dallow in that uh, United match to be honest uh, today against Atletico so I think Mambasaka is going to start this one of course obviously and well uh, let's see if he can have a good performance here because uh, of course the right back position is going to be pretty tricky and tight between them two players now we go on to the two centre-backs and Rafael Varane didn't appear at all against Atletico. Pretty sure he wasn't even in the match day squad. So yeah, uh, he's definitely going to start in this one. And alongside him, I've gone with Lissandro Martinez. Lissandro Martinez, he was on the bench like, but he didn't even come on against uh, Atletico, which is interesting indeed. But I think here that Ten Hag is planning on Varane and Lissandro Martinez to be the um, duo at the back. So I think that's why he's saving Martinez for this match so I think Verana Martinez obviously should be the two centre backs. Now going on to CDM, I've gone with James Garner. Garner appeared for the last two or three minutes in that match, so well he shouldn't be too tired really. And well with the Fred McCommon pretty much playing near full matches in that one, I think Garner should definitely be starting at CDM in this game. Now going on up then to the two attacking midfielders. Uh, first play one being Christian Eriksen. He, he appeared for like 30 minutes or so, half an hour. Good game time for Eriksen, definitely. I'd like to see him start this game too here. He shouldn't be too tired in this one, definitely. Eriksen was also very good, I thought. His passing of his passing was brilliant. Just couldn't get any attackers on the end of it. So I think Eriksen should start midfield. And Donny van de Beek as well. He got a wee bit in that game. I think he got about half an hour as well. But I do think here he needs to start again in this one. I want to see more from Donny van de Beek because in pre-season he hasn't been good enough in my opinion. So I think the midfield trio should be James Garner, Christian Eriksen and Donny van de Beek. Now going up to the attack on the left wing I've gone with Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho wasn't in the squad for Norway so he should be well rested. And well Rashford played the full game uh, there against um, Atletico. Alanga played a full game too. So I think it's only reasonable we played Garnacho in this game. Uh, here, I mean, Palistri only appeared for a wee bit in that one, so he could may, could start in this one as well. But I think Garnacho should start it in the left wing. At right wing, I've gone with Jaden Sancho. Sancho, of course, was um in the squad, but he didn't appear because he was ill apparently when he woke up. Uh, so that's a bit of a pity, isn't it? But if he is available for this next game, a hundred percent, I'm going to start him. And while I do think he is going to be available too, so Sancho, I've gone out with, I've gone with out in the right wing, and up top, I have gone with Cristiano Ronaldo because it looks like he is back, and he is back for the Real Vallecano match. Now, of course, this isn't a hundred percent official, but Ronaldo did post um something on Instagram saying the king plays on Sunday. And well, that uh, looks pretty promising, doesn't it? It looks like Ronaldo's finally going to return for Manchester United. And well, I think he's going to start this one. Of course, Martial playing pretty much almost a full game uh, there against Atletico. So I think Ronaldo then should start up top with Garnacho and Sancho out in the wings. Now, finally, on to our prediction. I think this is going to be a very comfortable win for Manchester United here. And they've gone with 4 0 against Real Vallecano. And let's not forget Real Vallecano with a few um, former players. Bebe, we don't really want to remember Bebe about Manchester United, but they also had Radamel Falcao, we don't really want to remember him at United anyway either. So, kind of a United flop sanctuary there, but I think 4-0 here 
I think Ronaldo's going to uh, start this one, and he's going to score two goals in this match. I can see Jadon Sancho also get on the score sheet as well, and Christian Eriksen. He looked very promising against Atleti, and well, I think he's definitely going to score in this one as well. So, 4-0 win for United, and it's going to end off our pre-season on a high. And that will end this Manchester United match preview. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you all for supporting the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.